I will talk to you about six habits that are distancing you from God and causing disappointment in his heart. Some revelations came to me when I came across a book detailing behaviors contrary to those of a good Christian. Although I was far from being a model of righteousness at the time, I decided to change my lifestyle and adopt the Lord's teachings. I urge you to stay attentive until the end of this video to avoid falling into the same traps I will mention. I will share some biblical quotes that support what I say and what we need to do to align with God's will. Often, without even realizing it, we hurt God's heart with our actions. However, thanks to his unfathomable mercy, he always offers us his forgiveness. The first habit that drives us away from God is the greed for material possessions. In a society dominated by an obsession with the material, it is tempting to fall into the trap of desiring earthly possessions. By seeking our happiness in material things, we distance ourselves from spiritual truths and the true joy that God can offer us. Let us remember Jesus' words, warning us about the danger of accumulating treasures on earth, vulnerable to decay and theft. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. It is time to free ourselves from excessive pursuit of worldly goods and direct our attention toward imperishable heavenly treasures. Let us invest our time and resources in actions that glorify God and enrich the lives of others. The second habit that drives us away from God is not maintaining sexual purity. This is a fundamental principle in biblical teaching exemplified by figures like Jesus Christ and Danielle. In contemporary society, the temptation to give in to sexual impulses is constant, but we must remember that our bodies are temples of the Lord. Sexual immorality not only goes against the divine plan, but also undermines our relationship with him. Staying pure allows us to live in harmony with God and experience his blessing in our lives. The Bible says, for this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 3 to 5. This passage highlights the importance of maintaining sexual purity and avoiding fornication, being a divine command for all believers. It reminds us that sexual purity is part of God's plan for our lives and that living in harmony with this principle allows us to experience his blessing. Selfishness is the third habit that distances us from God as it traps us in putting our needs above those of others and God himself. This attitude gradually distances us from his love and teachings, preventing us from manifesting the compassion and selfless love he expects from us. Jesus' words remind us of the importance of loving our neighbor as ourselves. Therefore, we must strive to be instruments of kindness and generosity in this world, offering our help to those in need, supporting those who suffer, and constantly seeking ways to serve others. By doing so, we will draw closer to God and reflect His light through our actions. Here is a biblical quote that helps us understand God's will. Let no one seek his own good, but the good of others. This quote emphasizes the importance of not putting our own needs above those of others, showing that we should care for the well-being of others and not just our own. The fourth habit that drives us away from God is the habit of lying as it is a direct departure from the divine presence. The Bible teaches us that lying is a tool of deceit used by the enemy to turn us away from the path of truth and righteousness that God indicates. It is written, lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are his delight. Proverbs 12, 22. 
As Christians, we must adhere firmly to the truth since Jesus Christ came into this world to reveal it. Every time we lie, we betray the trust and purpose that God has for us. Even when facing difficult circumstances that tempt us to lie, it is vital to remember that lying separates us from the divine plan. Therefore, I urge all believers to embrace the truth and reject lying in all its forms, to walk in the light and grace of God. Infidelity is the fifth habit on our list as it has become a common habit that distances us from divine love. Whether in relationships, marriages, or even in singleness, we must understand that infidelity is a crucial sin in the eyes of God who detests the lack of loyalty. Although the Lord does not forbid marriage or falling in love, He asks us to make decisions and respect them regardless of the temptations we face. The Bible says anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another man, she commits adultery. Mark 10 verse 11 and 12. This quote emphasizes the importance of fidelity in marital relationships, showing that adultery is considered a serious sin before God. While it may be difficult to resist attraction to others, we must cultivate fidelity in ourselves. Envying another person's partner is meaningless when we already have our own. If you have been unfaithful, there is still time to repent and seek God's forgiveness. The Bible teaches us that the unfaithful are greedy people, never satisfied with what they have. Therefore, I recommend everyone to flee from infidelity and seek the fullness of true love in God. Lastly, the sixth habit that distances us from God's presence is neglecting prayer. When we neglect our communication with Him, we deprive ourselves of the opportunity to share our fears, concerns, and gratitude, losing the direction and wisdom He can offer us. Whether at dawn, dusk, or any other time of the day, it is important to find a quiet space to connect with God, express our thoughts sincerely, and seek His guidance in our decisions. A biblical quote accompanying this habit that we must discard is Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Here we are encouraged to trust God and communicate with Him in prayer about all our needs and concerns, always remembering to thank Him for His faithfulness and goodness. Prayer is the bond that unites us with God, so we must not neglect it. We conclude this video with the hope that you have acquired new teachings to strengthen your spiritual life. Our goal is for you to become aware of these lessons and apply them in your relationship with God. We encourage you to share this valuable message with your loved ones so that together you can grow in your faith. May God bless you abundantly. See you in the next video.